say, y'all, if y'all want to see more exclusive content, like extended music reviews and things that we can't post on YouTube, make sure that you check out our Patreon linked in the description below. What's good, Trip family? Hey, chilling on the goddamn deal. And we back with another motherfucking episode. Hope everybody been straight. Hope everybody been good. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your mental, your physical, your emotional, all that. Oh, man. We're back in the same spot. Back to back. I like that record. No, no. <laughs> like, we're literally back in the same spot. I'm going to get back to that for the record. Oh, God. Uh, he definitely didn't lie. Oh, God. It's like foreshadowing. Like, I just. I Easter eggs. I literally Easter eggs. cannot take, like, all the unveiling that I've been doing over the past. How many days? This beat been going on for like what feel like a month now. Maybe Literally a over actually. When did he drop the last one? Talking about Kendrick. Yeah, Tuesday. That was on Tuesday. <laughs> and that's another thing I thought about. He is moving at a quicker pace than Drake too, because Drake I think waited like twenty days after like that or something like that. But I know he was on tour, so which it's is a crazy. Different. I mean, he was on tour. He was trying to finish that first. So I get it. He waited like twenty days. Kendrick waited seventeen days to do Euphoria. I think Drake dropped that Taylor May freestyle like four days or like a week. Off. I think it was like four days after he dropped uh, push ups. Kendrick dropped three days later. It's like he's trying to beat him out in every category. Literally. <laughs> he's like, nigga, you're not better than me. So today, we got Kendrick 6 16 in LA. He's so disrespectful for using the timestamp. Like, <sighs> if you know Drake, you know that's his thing. That's his thing. That's literally, literally that's his, thing. Literally his said, thing. Okay, I'm gonna do it too. And I'm glad you brought that up. There is only one thing I really want to say before we get started. I think you all should relish in this moment. We will never ever get this again. The this, this is, is like the top two. our time. Tupac this is the top two biggest people in the rap game, and they are literally locking horns and going at it, and nobody is backing down. If you ain't hype every time one of these niggas drop, or if you're not really appreciating this moment, because I'm telling you, it's never going to come again. For people in our age groups or even a few years below us, right. you literally saw their careers pretty much from start to finish. Right. And, and it's all around came the same to this time. Point. It, they blew that was blowing up around the same time so it's all coming to this point and the fact that they are literally beefing beefing calling out no, names this is there, real are no, rap beef. there are no one liners no one whatever no, like, no sneak one this verse. In. it's, it's literally like a that. straight it's, shot this nigga fuck you drake nigga fuck you kendrick <laughs> fuck your mama fuck you too that's why i fucked your bitch you fat motherfucker like that's how they're that's literally how they're going at it like, like and that is amazing so that's why every time we step foot in here to record one of these i am excited like about to jump out my fucking skin oh child and we uh, were so mad when we found out this shit came out today because why is he doing it so randomly yeah yeah we can. okay period grab your yeah you already know we got our yeah ice cold out the freezer so big oh, ass big as <laughs> How big as fuck. Oh my god, it's kind of heavy too. If you're going through something, Opa. keep your head up. Period. Days get better. What they do I really say? Get better. Uh, At the end of the day, the sun don't shine every day. That's why I love tomorrow or something like Period. that. Period. That too. And she always said, At the end of the day, the day gonna end. Fast. At the end of the day, you alive. Take Nobody that asked you for. My, where did I learn this from? I think I learned it in a book. But it's just right now. Right now, in this moment, don't think about tomorrow, don't think about yesterday. In this moment, right now, is anybody asking you for some money? And if the answer is no, even if they call you, they're not calling you right now. If nobody's asking you for no money right now, in this moment, you good. Take a shot. <laughs> and then when we get fucked up, you wonder why. <laughs> Bow. See no 
<laughs> I don't know if he's doing this on purpose, but it's fucking Kendrick, so who knows? Survival is definitely a Drake song. It's the intro to Scorpion. I know that because I love oh. that song. Drake smoked that whole actually. I like that song a lot. Survival is a Drake song. I think somebody lying smells smells like some line. I don't see no fire. So where it's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Drake tried to say that nigga was dodging this nigga. And he said he want all the smoke. And Kendra said, somebody lying. Because I, I dropped mine. No fire. And I don't see no fire. Oh, God. Not already. I already. Can't, I can't handle it. Already. I can't. <laughs> Off white sun seeker at the marina. Fuck a phantom, I like to buy yachts when I get the fever. Wine cooler, spill on my white t shirt, the sightseer. Try affect the money, morals, and culture. That's my leisure, my. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it already kind of seemed like he's starting off chill. But nigga, this first line Off white sun seeker, sun seeker had the marina. Fuck the phantom. What's a sun seeker? That a boat? Cause he said had the marina fuck the phantom. So like it's not like you talking about he buying a boat. Mm. But for some reason it seemed deeper than that. Cause off white sun sick is saying like he calling him <laughs> white trying to be black again. <laughs> uh, pff, a, they say another meaning of sun seeker could be comparing Drake to Icarus, the one who flew too close to the sun Ooh. and in turn had his wings taken and fell back down to earth. Oh my and god. And Sun Seeker, which is the world's leading brand for luxury motor yachts. So yeah. I was a boat. Yep, yep, yep. Well, a yacht, which is way worse than a Phantom. Yeah, a yacht, way more expensive. Mm. Things I like to buy yachts when I get the fever. <laughs> Why I cool spill on my white t shirt, the Sightseer? What the hell does that mean? I get the trifecta money, morals, and culture. That's my leisure. He talking about Drake can't identify with all three of them. You know, he said the trifecta. Oh, it says Sicy is a line of paper shooting range targets. So when you go to the gun range and it's the, what you call it, it says the circular targets closely resemble a wine stain on a white shirt. Literally. Oh, God. God damn. What? I can't, that's what I'm saying. I can't handle this. I can't that handle this. That nigga different, dog. That nigga is different. Why cooler? Man, Drake, you. on my white t-shirt, the sightseer. Drake, you might you might have flew too close to the So he aiming sun. at you is what that, he's saying, too. That nigga is also, that nigga saying he calling himself the sun. Nigga, you flew too close to me trying to play with me. Now I'm about to burn your ass. That's what tatted, that's your hub in the piece. Luke Kelly's dwellings in Brooklyn just to put me some pizza. Who can reach us? Only God can teleport this type of freedom. God. I show up in a I don't know what that means. <laughs> People be talking about a Biza a lot. Somebody, Literally. Somebody else said somebody Biza. That was J. Cole. Uh, what is niggas dwelling in Brooklyn? What did they say? Something dwelling in Brooklyn. What did he say right there? Mm. They don't even know what he say. Uh, Lucalis Dwellings in Brooklyn. Oh, is that like his apartment that Drake was talking about? Is that what it is? Um, yeah, in Toronto. Um, huh? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know nothing. Cause they don't say nothing. Just to put me some pizza. Who could reach this? Only God could teleport this type of freedom. It says similar to similar to how Kendrick mentioned eating in Toronto restaurant New Ho King. He name drops a Brooklyn pizzeria, Lou Cali, in his second disc record. Oh, it's in Toronto too? No, it's in Brooklyn. Oh yeah, somebody in the apartment. It said this could be a direct response to Drake's second track towards Kendrick. Dot. I know you're in that, that NY apartment. apartment. You're struggling right now. I know it. Oh my God! So he just want to get pizza at that house. He said, "Can you claim that the reason he was in New York was just to get some pizza?" <laughs> that nigga don't even live there. Oh God! Oh my God! Pizza, who could reach us? Only God can teleport this type of freedom. God, huh? My confession is yours, but who am I if I don't go to war? There's opportunity when living with loss. I discover myself with not far short. Raise my hands to a fallen sky. I fantasize me, jumping planets, immortalized. I correspond. Three angels watching me all the time. Cause you 
know the first line about the falling sky. He falling from the sky or whatever. Who am I father don't go to war? Nah, for real. There's opportunity when I'm living with when you say when I'm living with laws or laws? Loss. Loss? Loss? Mm-hmm. I knew it. I knew it wasn't laws. Uh I discovered myself when I fall short. Is that what you talking about? Raise my hands to a fall. Well, I thought sky. he might be referencing that where he uh the whatever he called Drake. Falling from the sky. What is how I discover myself when I fall short, raise my hands to a fallen sky? Mm-hmm. I don't get that one. What do you mean by raise my hands to a fallen sky? A fallen sky is a term you describe the world after a catastrophic event, mm. which is a slide shot of Drake after Kendrick's recent death. Kendrick is essentially saying that he's totally annihilated him. Yeah, I, from what I can tell, this one is going to be more... He copied him again. How Taylor May went crazy like push ups is also he I think he's doing this purpose. Fuck that. I'm t- no, that's what I'm telling you. He's mimicking him on purpose. Like Taylor May wasn't nothing crazy. It was just the AI part that really got us in the what's it called? Mm-hmm. I think he's purposely not trying to go as hard because Euphoria already had way more in. So you this. think he gonna have another one after this? Cause this can't yes. be this is last yes. one. Yes, oh. he's waiting on Drake to say something, oh. but he's mimicking him in every way. That's so what Drake got a drop purpose. four times. Nah, just at least another one. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know when this beef. That's why I was thinking about my desk at work today. I don't know how this beef is going to end. Like, like when is it going to end? Like either one of them has to say something so catastrophic that the nigga just go quiet and nobody ever responds again. And then it's but over. are they? Because Drake but is that's petty. What I'm saying I don't know how this is going like, to end. I feel like Kendra will stop before Drake stops. Yeah, but I just don't know how it's gonna end. Like, is the other does one side just go completely silent and that's it? Right. No. Or like, they gotta what fight. is gonna happen? Because it's not gonna be no street beef. This is not how this started. So they it's not gonna fight. end that way. I don't know how this ends. This is they insane. gotta tell the tea, or somebody gotta fuck somebody, baby mama. Either one. Three angels watching me all the time Put my children to sleep with a prayer Then close my eyes, definition of peace Tell me who gon' stop me I come from love, as still Cover my heart, then open me up Remember when, picked up a pen Lyrics that I can trust, timid soul Stare in the mirror, asking where I was from often I know this type of power is gon' cost But I live in circadian rhythms of a shooting star The mannerisms of Raphael like can heal and give you all Like he being too light, he being too light I don't think he is. Talk about his kids. Okay, pull out here and see what prayer I get that. Close my eyes, definition of peace. I get that. He trying to say, he sound like that nigga ain't peace, at least to me. Mm-hmm. Tell me who going to stop me. I come from love and still cover my heart. Mm-hmm. Then open me up. Remember when picked up a pen wrote lyrics that I could trust. I get that. He coming after that nigga pen again. And this is very much mimicking a Drake style timestamp song. It got a soul sample on it. I know all of them ain't been that, but it's mimicking that style. No, it's same. More just yeah, lyrics. it's literally giving that. It's like, like he's speaking from his heart type this shit. This reminds me personally so far, even though he's not really going to that nigga head, but it, it makes me think he's mimicking 5 a.m. in Toronto for some reason. No, he definitely is, but um, it's, it's it doesn't say and still cover my heart. It says a still. This is grandma. Oh, uh, see this nigga here. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, they feel like he mimicking 5 a.m. in Toronto. This which will make sense because 616 in L.A. and that's where Kendra from, and of course you know driving <laughs> Toronto. So that's why I feel like he mimicking. Mimicking that whole the meaning me. behind 616 in itself is just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Um, and Kendrick also commemorated a steal in Coachella, his Coachella performance. Mm. That's his grandma. Okay. Um, remember when picked up a pen lyrics I can trust? Oh, say I just think he talking about dragging that in general. Right. Like, he write his shit down. He saying he can remember when he picked up a pen and wrote lyrics that he could trust because he wrote them his goddamn self. Can you? What's a 20v1, nigga? Oh, my God. It's 1v20 when I got smack niggas that write with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm whoop- then open me up. <laughs> Remember when picked up a pen, lyrics that I can trust, timid soul, staring in the mirror, asking where I was from often. I know this type of power has gone cost, but I live in circadian rhythms of a shooting star, the mannerisms of Raphael, like the healing give you art, but... I forgot how I did that part. What is timid soul staring in the mirror, asking where I was from? Is he talking about him again? 
Mm. You trying to say Drake confused? And he Timmy? <laughs> I'm crying. These niggas don't know what they talk about. I don't know. That's what I be telling you. I don't know. This we just gotta interpret this all on. I'll take that as he talking about Drake for some reason. <laughs> of course he is. Cause Drake, I mean not Kendrick. <laughs> Kendrick know where he from. So I'm gonna take this as this nigga talking about Drake. Timid soul. Stare in the mirror asking where I was from. You know, Drake love doing them accents. He don't know if he want to be from L.A., from Toronto, from London, oh, from like the Caribbean. Oh, like he said, when he stare in the mirror, he asks where he from? Yes. Like, Drake oh. is confused. Just like about his culturalism. Off, he said, often, I know this type of power is going to cost them, but I live in a circadian rhythm. What is it? What's circadian? A circadian rhythm is like your sleep schedule. Like when you have having REM sleep and stuff like that, I think. What does he mean by circadian rhythms of a shooting star? What is that? This nigga Kendrick is different. It's too much. What does that mean? Oh. Physical, mental, and beho- behavioral changes in organism experiences over a 24-hour cycle. Light and dark has the biggest influences on circadian rhythms. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, it, we get tired at night. Because our right. body is just like, that's the rhythm. And when your so sleep you, schedule off, your circadian rhythm is off. So living in the circadian, circadian rhythm of a shooting star. How often do shooting stars occur? I don't know. Is, is he saying he like fleeting? He only come every now and then? That would kind of I don't to, know what this <laughs> nigga's saying. <laughs> I would, don't know. <laughs> that was mannerisms of Raphael. I can heal and give you heart. I know you're talking about Raphael, but this is a lot, it's man. It's too Ken- much. Kendrick, like... He, he knows too much. He tried try to exercise the your brain. The word Rapha means healing in Hebrew. He be on it. Yeah. He be on it. Yeah, once again. Oh, and Raphael's artist. Right. Italian no, I know that. painter. Yeah, yeah. I knew you was talking about that one. I didn't know about the other one. Once again, we really need y'all on this one. We was catching quite a bit. In the euphoria this is one, too deep. but this is the one y'all got to shine in the comments. Let us know everything this nigga's saying because I'm sorry. I don't Trying fucking to stop know. and read this every time is low key killing it for me, and I want to listen to it. I can't I don't get know. to the beat or nothing. That's why so, I would rather the beef be straightforward. Like if he dissing him, that. let me know. He, he let you know, but it's just he gonna make you think at the same. But he's a lyricist. That's where they differ between the two. He, Kendrick is a true lyricist, like. His rapping has always been his main point. Drake, you can argue it's the rapping, it's the R&B, it's the hits that he can make. Like, Drake is all-encompassing. Like, it's a lot that he can do and still make it, like, sound good. Mm -hmm. Kendrick was a pure rapper from Rip. (laughs) He one of them lyrical miracles. Yes! That's why when the battle started, I thought only J. Cole was going to stand toe-to-toe with this nigga. Jaco said, uh-uh, no, said, I'm not nah, doing that. This ain't for me. <laughs> not doing it. Not for me. <laughs> so, yeah. Please, y'all, shine in the comments. Let us know. Uh, the mannerisms of Raphael, like in the hill, they give you art. But the industry's cut as I pick the carcass apart. Yeah, somebody's lying. I can see the vibes on act. Even he looking compromised. Let's peel the layers back. Ain't no brownie points will be in your chest. Harassing ant. Fucking with good people. Make good people go to bed. <gasps> I don't know what the big part but the industry's cook as I pick the carcass apart. He definitely talk about that nigga Drake in that part. Yeah, somebody's lying. I can see the vibes on act. He definitely talking about academics right there. He talking, oh, because that nigga academics review you for it. Not that he was fucking with it, but at the same time, he's trying not to because that nigga love glazing Drake. <laughs> no, literally. Even he looking compromised. Let's peel the layers back. Ain't no brownie points will be on your chest. What they mean? <laughs> For like Drake is just like acting like he's just a big nigga. Be on your chest harassing and fucking with good people and good like people he just like went off on everybody on a song. He's saying like you don't get no cool points for that. Oh, I don't know. I thought it might be something else. You know he love putting that owl on his chest. <laughs> but even he looking compromised. So that tell me he talking about niggas besides academics. Oh, no, he said, he's... oh, no, 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 no. He said, ain't no brownie points for beating on your chest, harassing ants, his, the, the man, the man. Oh, who you talking about in the song? Mm-hmm. We said, Aunt better tailor make your schedule. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
Oh man. Ain't no brownie points will be in your chest, harassing and fucking with good people, make good people go to bed. Conspiracies about cash dog, that's not even the leak. Find the Jews like cash dog. I just need you to think. Are you finally ready to play? Have you ever let's see? Have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? Fake bully, I hate bullies. You must be a terrible person. Everyone inside your team is whispering that you deserve it. Conspiracies about Cash Dog. That's not even the leak. Find the truth like Cash Dog. I just need you to think. Are you really ready to play? Have you ever? He keep asking this nigga that fucking question. Oh my God. Hey man, Drake, you better back down, nigga. I don't know what he... He's talking about Cash spending able money. Or uh, what's this called? It? The weekend. So you know how you said he was spending his money? Oh, yeah. He said, shit, we doing for bitches. You doing for niggas. Mm -hmm. about, that's not even the leak. Find the truce like Cash Doll. I just need you to think. I don't know what you mean. What is it says, like Kendrick also named out the Cash Doll references the burglary that occurred in which the rapper had 500K worth of jewelry stolen. Are you fucking ready to play? Have you ever? Let's see. And he keep doing that. Have you ever thought that OVO was working for me? Fake bully, I hate bullies. You oh. must be a terrible person. Everyone on your team is whispering that you deserve it. And Pusha said a long time ago that he didn't get that information from uh from Kanye. He said he got it from OVO. So that nigga got moles in his own camp. Fake bully, I hate bullies. You must be a terrible person. Everyone inside your team is whispering that you deserve it. Can't tussy slide about it. This one is just gonna resurface. Every dog gotta have his day. Now live in your purpose. It was fun until you start to put money in the streets. Then lost money cause they came back with no receipts. I'm sorry that I never won. This one is just gonna resurface. Every dog gotta have his day. Now live in your purpose. It was fun until you start to put money in the streets. Then lost money because they came back with no receipt. I don't need to hear nothing from Genius on that one. I get all that. Crime. I get all that. What does that. it mean? Can't Tuesday slide. That's Drake's song. And that whole win number one out of this one. It's just gonna come back up. You can't slide your way out of this one, Bucko. Every dog gotta have his day. I already know what that one is now. Living your purpose. Come on, nigga. Since you a dog. Oh. It was fun until you started putting money up in the streets. Drake loved putting money out to try to get information on niggas. That nigga pushed T, say 100000 That's all you got trying to get mm, info on me? That's literally what it say. Then you lost money because that came back with nothing, nigga. That's fucked up. Because he really didn't have shit on him. Come on, Kendrick! <sighs> For all my dogs. Oh, God. They lost money because they came back with no receipts. I'm sorry that I live a boring life. I love peace, but war ready if the world is ready to see you bleed. The Elohim KTW. No, you can't sleep. These images trouble you. Know the wires in your circle should puzzle you. Hold on. I'm sorry that I live a boring life. I love peace. Facts. Not for real. But war ready if the war if the world's ready to see you bleed and I love that. I wish he was just love it. fucking tea. This nigga Kendrick. So is he is he giving him like the Jesus of it? Like what you mean? Like he's taking high road. Like I'm not even gonna go there with you right now because I really right. could. If you really want to try me, yeah, try me. That's why the have you ever? Have you ever played? Have you ever? He keeps saying that for a reason. I'm crying. Like nigga, if you say you like that, you got tea on me or dirt. Come on. See, Drake is like Superman. Right. Like, he can do everything. That nigga but everybody's can make literally a ready to see this nigga bleed. Because nobody really likes this nigga. It's like, you have to like him. Like, even on my Spotify, I don't. I haven't downloaded a Drake song in, since For All the Dogs. And no to this cry. day, it makes me playlists. And it's nothing but fucking Drake on all of them across the board. It's like, I can't. Like, they force feed this nigga down your throat. And then what? said something earlier in the song oh you said something like about the apocalypse right mm -hmm. he down there Kendrick feel like he down there comparing this is this is a reach for sure but this is what I feel like he is saying cause how I just compare Drake to Superman at some point Super, Superman had to fight a motherfucker called Doomsday 
Basically, that nigga, nigga was created to kill Superman. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Oh, God. Because he keeps saying the world going to end. That's what I'm saying. Doomsday literally came to kill Superman. He was in, created when did he to call kill Superman? Superman. No, I'm calling Drake Superman. Because the world to see you bleed, Superman don't bleed. <laughs> That nigga's pretty much invincible, but Doomsday literally made that nigga, he killed that nigga at some point. Kendrick is Doomsday. If you were street smart, then you would have caught that your entourage is only to hustle you. A hundred niggas that you got on salary and 20 hovel. So I think wires in the circle is like his people be wearing wires and they be snitching on him. Mm. Oh, no, the wire in the circle should puzzle you. Oh, so he's saying the person that's leaking the information. I ain't saying, yo, uh, over your count compromise. Oh, okay. 20 of them want you as a casualty, and one of them is actually next to you, and two of them is practically. Whoa. Go whoa. back. Go all the way. Whoa. Whoa. Go all the way. Whoa. Whoa. A hundred niggas that you got on salary, and 20 of them want you as a casualty. And one of them is actually next to you. Nigga, which one is... Which one is it, Kendrick? It's only like three niggas I can think of that's super close to Drake. Who? The names I've been hearing him say forever. 40, Chubbs, and Oliver North is his whole name. You know Canadians be on some gangster shit. Them the only three niggas I always hear him mention since begin the time. <sighs> what does Kendrick know? Kendrick, tell us. Snitch. 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 But it's so crazy because even Pusha said a long time ago that he got it. He said the information came from a girl that Floyd 40 was sleeping with when he found out about Drake Baby. Mm. Oh no, man. This is this is insane. You would a cart that your entourage is only to hustle you. Uh. That nigga say if you was street smart. Right. He don't know nothing. He think he a gangster. And one of them is actually next to you and two of them is practically tired of your lifestyle. Just don't got the audacity to tell you. But let me tell you some game. Cause Didn't you just say it was three niggas? Huh? Didn't you just say it was three niggas? What you talking about? Because he said one of them is next to you and two of them is practically tied to your lifestyle. Literally. I didn't even get to that part yet. But literally. Literally, you literally just named all three of the niggas. So is he talking about every single one of them niggas? And Chubbs being next to you, he always got Chubbs with him. When he was walking out doing his all the dogs tour, mm -hmm. Chubbs was with that nigga pretty much every night, walking down that little ramp with that nigga. Mm -hmm. Literally right next to that nigga. Yeah, that's what it say. Nigga, I ain't seen none of this, by the way. <laughs> No, this is he, all my interpretation. He knows shit. I'm looking, I don't know shit about Drake. Tired of your lifestyle, just don't got the audacity to tell you, but let me tell you some game, cause I can see you, my little homie. You playing dirty with propaganda, hit blow up on you. You playing nerdy with Zach Bia and Twitter bots. But, but let me tell you some game, cause I can see you, my little homie. Stop playing. God damn it, Kendrick. Hey, man. Niggas was talking about this whole one like that, but he's still on this nigga ass. And I love this shit. That nigga called you his little homie. You talking about that gangster shit, nigga. You a little homie. I'm fucking dead. Nah, Drake, you gotta come with something crazy. But your reality can't hide behind Wi-Fi. Your little means is losing steam. They figured you out. The first opinions is not convincing. Y'all need a new route. It's time that you look around on who's around you. Before you figure that you're not alone, ask what Mike would do. Alone, ask what But your reality can't hide behind Wi-Fi. Your little memes is losing steam. They figured you out. Cause Drake love to post a good meme. And I was just about to say he posted and Kiki. That, uh, he posted that I hate you thing with old girl was saying. He said, no, nah, nigga, we figuring out we you done showed your slip, nigga. You whack. Nigga, and, come and, back with some hard shit. And, and make we, sure you wrote it too. <laughs> bitch. That's what he's saying. And Metro when he put Metro face on Nick Cannon with the drum line right. shit. Right. Cause he's childish. He ain't got no real bars. Cause if you do, write it right now. Freestyle. I'm, Literally, I'm calling Drake out. He said the forced opinions is not convincing. Y'all need a new route. 
It's time you look around on who's around you. He keep bringing up who around this nigga. Somebody's giving Kendrick all this tea, and Kendrick is probably paying them for it. Before you figure that you're not alone, as what Mike would do. You are not alone. I am here with you. I I wouldn't get it at first either. That's the crazy (laughs) part. Oh, my God. You're not alone. You and me. So what would Mike do? I don't know. Beat it. (laughs) (laughs) He references Michael Jackson's single, You're Not Alone, and it also may mirror uh, Pusha T's What Would Meek Do and Drake's What Would Pluto Do. <laughs> I forgot all about as well. I mean, what would me do with Kanye? That was on Pusha album. I mm. forgot all about that on Daytona. Paula, oh, this nigga different, man. I I'm crying in the You Are Not Alone was composed by R. Kelly, doubling it down on R, uh, Drake's alleged in- inclination towards young women. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a shot. Oh, you poured it. I poured mine already. That's a shot. I've been poor mine. I forgot. I ain't know that one. I ain't know R. Kelly wrote that. This nigga is ridiculous. Do you see what I'm saying now, though? It's too much. He is layered. It's too much. It's, it's too much. This we're is- going to have to give y'all an analysis on Patreon. We, that's what we're going to do. We're going to deep dive and break this shit down on Patreon. So make sure that y'all subscribe to our Patreon. Because we don't have time to to edit all this looking and searching and whoop the whoop the whoop because it's just too much. It's too this much. Because like it's a, one thing on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other. Aubrey. That nigga. And you know what's so funny? I like that he does that. He call you both almost like you got Aubrey. a crisis on your hand. You don't know if you black or you white. Aubrey. He call you Aubrey and he call you Drake. The name you don't like going by, you call yourself that sometimes, oh, but you don't like, don't like going by Arby? Aubrey. Hell no. Nah. That's why he go by Drake. I like the name I know that's Arby. more catchy to go by as a rapper, but what is, which one sounds more black to you, Drake or Aubrey? Drake. Right. He calls that nigga Aubrey, but then he says Drake. He said, Aubrey and Cole, no, I want the crowd to my, I mean, crowd to myself. I know it's heavy, but then he said, I like Drake when you make me wave my hands and do a dance. Right. Keep it that way. Right. It's almost like he's saying you don't know how to identify, nigga. Are you Drake or are you Aubrey? Is Drake the tough nigga or is Aubrey your real self? The R&B soft nigga. <sighs> Man, this nigga who posts, can't drink. who posts memes. Dot. And then he goes back to the what would Jesus do? Because Kendrick is calling himself the Messiah. Right, the Elo. The mm-hmm. rebirth. Yeah. Before you get to the father, you got to holler at me first, bitch. Smoking on top five. <laughs> Fuck that album, fuck that single, burn that hard drive, burn that shit. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> back to the back. I like that. Now you the boogeyman for a reason. The uh, Bye Bye Yaga, nigga, John oh Wick. God. Get that nigga. Oh, God. You like Drake? I thought you loved Drake. I fuck with Drake heavy. But I call Kendrick the boogeyman for a reason. Yeah, no, he's too deep. He for me. is that nigga. That's what I'm telling you. He's like literally, it's like a mirror, but it's not. It's almost like An Drake, inverted mirror. It's almost like Drake sees himself as Kendrick, think he can rap like him and black like him, <laughs> and he not. Because <laughs> he's literally, and he from. That's what I'm saying. Kendrick is so intentional. Like it feel like he's saying, like nigga, you looking, you think you looking at me, but you not. Right. Like, you really not me. Kendrick is from that place that started gangs. <laughs> right. He is a real rapper. He's a nigga. <laughs> all the things. All the things the Drake tri- is factor, not. All the things that Drake think he is or act like he is. All the things Drake ain't, basically. Because Drake is not black. He's not from the hood. And he can't rap, rap. like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He, he can rap, but not rap, like him. But... You gonna let the beat rock out? I like the beat. That nigga just let the beat rock out. That is crazy. That nigga, I ain't got shit else to say. <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy. You think Kendrick is winning? This is gonna sound crazy. 
Now I think it's tied. Same. I almost want to give Kendrick the edge. I don't want to give Kendrick the edge. I almost do. I wish he was a little bit more aggressive. I want to. It's I want you to. I get that. I get that. I get that. I get that. But if y'all in a real rap beef, I want y'all to annihilate each other. No, Listen to me. Like let me finish. I get what you about to say, but it don't go like that. I get that, <laughs> but it's like you got to have everything. I don't give a fuck. No. Make it worse. Then you not getting it then. That's what I'm telling you. It's so purposeful. You got to think, and Taylor made. Okay, think about it like this. Push-ups was a reaction to like that, right? He said, if I, he said, I ain't no big three, it's just me. I'm mm-hmm. number one. Y'all niggas can do what y'all want to do. Mm-hmm. Then he said, if all dogs getting buried, K with all you know, you'll see Pet Cemetery. He said, Cemetery. He said, nigga, if you come for me, I'm going to kill your ass. I'm going to kill your ass. Drake took that personal and said, okay. And he did push ups. But Which the difference with push ups was, yes, it's primarily kind of going at Kendrick, but it's also going at a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's your first, like, that's like a that warning. Nigga said, shot. drop and give me 50. That's like a three. That's like shooting in the gun in the air three times. Think mm-hmm. about how I'm about to tell you. Just follow with me. That's mm-hmm. like thinking about shooting the gun in the air three times, right? Mm-hmm. Like this is a warning. Mm-hmm. Like I'm here. Right. I'm letting you know I have arrived. Kendrick's euphoria was the same thing. It was like, okay, nigga, I gave you that one little couple bars, but I have arrived as well. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm here, but you have to think. Drake did it back to back. He mm-hmm. like, you taking too long, so I'm pulling up again with just, I'm gonna let it out one time and let you know I'm not playing. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm really here. Like, hey, nigga. But he did it in such a different way that nobody's ever used to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he started it by doing that way, right? Mm-hmm. Kendrick is just following his path, but he's only trying to one-up him. Mm-hmm. So euphoria, as we both have said now, we like that better than push-ups. Mm-hmm. We had more days to live with it, and that hoe go hard as fuck. Mm-hmm. He outwrapped him in terms of euphoria versus push-ups head on. Mm-hmm. Drake's yes is more entertaining. It's a little more direct, mm-hmm. but Kendrick's feels a little more to Personal. the core, a little to the soul. Mm-hmm. Then. He doubles back the same way Drake did with Taylor May. And foreshadowing back to back. Like he I said like he that do. record. But I'm going to double back and do the same shit as you. Mm-hmm. But went a little deeper again. Mm-hmm. He's questioning your crew. Mm-hmm. That you know you should be concerned about your fucking circle. Mm-hmm. He's saying you find too close to the sun, nigga. I'm the sun. Mm-hmm. You small compared to sun, me. I'm the sun. I'm the way, yeah. He used a sample that your family featured on and produced on. This nigga used your fucking title vibe. This nigga said 616 in LA. He used your timestamp, but he said I'm in my hood. The bars were better than Taylor Nah, 616 in LA was the probably the clever shit. I don't need no AI. This is just me. Mm. And I'ma still out rap you again. Mm Mm-hmm. Cause he just used pocket Snoop and they ain't say nothing crazy. They said basically I'm disappointed. They said nephew. That's the crazy part of the whole song, honestly. Right. Like Drake's part was almost forgettable. I don't even really remember. We, I remember him saying he certain shit. He actually was just telling nigga to come back and rap. Like pretty you much. At, nigga? That's pretty much it. But Kendrick outwrapped him on their versions of the lesser diss. Mm-hmm. Cause these two both. So are you made giving it to Kendrick? Cause the, you said what you call it was better than. That's why I say I almost want to give the slight edge to Kendrick now because this is definitely better and deeper than Taylor made freestyle. He said, nigga, you need to look at your crew. Look at yourself. Yeah. And he's not even, you have a point because it's like he's not even really being mean. He's just like, nigga, like you want to start a beef with me? You need to watch the niggas around you. And I'm not even trying to be, I like you. I don't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I like your music. But as a person, I can't rock with you. Uh, yeah, at this point, I have Kendrick edging out Drake down. I'm done. I'm not taking another shot. That's a nice cup. I like that. Where'd you get that? You like that? I like that. This is our cup. Period. <laughs> you see that. You know what I'm saying? A little 360. You know what I'm saying? 180. Not even full of that. Insulated. Period. 
It is not a drop of sweat. Like Drake is sweating right now. <laughs> not a drop of sweat. I have been sipping apple juice this entire time. We've been reviewing this for over an hour. I still there. Plenty of ice. That's where it was when we put it in there. You know what I'm saying? If you want one, go get you one. Only at exclusively trueoffamily.shopify.com. And the link is going to be in the description. You know what I'm saying? If you want to support us, we would gladly appreciate it. So y'all can sip with us while we sip with y'all. More merch coming soon. Purr. You know this is saying? just the beginning. This is literally just the beginning. Just, just like this to get beef. y'all something so y'all can feel included. You know what I'm saying? Just like this beef. This is just the beginning. So if y'all want to sit with us, fuck with us. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? We got more stuff coming. Period. But yeah, this was... I liked it. I liked it. And I'm glad we talked about it because me, I'm a very, like, straightforward, like, what's in she my don't, face? She ain't I don't... Talking. She don't want her brain to have to do exercises I'm with this shit. I'm just a girl. She needs to I'm say, nigga, I fucked your baby mama, nigga. I love that. I love that ghetto hood rat shit. Kendrick is not that. He's much more uh, eloquent, if you would like to put it that Sophisticated. way. Sophisticated. And I like that too sometimes, yeah. but he got to bring it out because he got to explain shit. Oh, don't worry. The next one is the kill shot. I really hope so. It I is. really hope he starts it off with, that's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. And you know it will be so ironic. If he I thought Tupac about this Pac earlier, Pac not even that. Oh. What if he dropped his album on 616? Who? Kendrick. June he probably 16. would. What if he drop it on Father's Day? He probably would, just to be terrorizing. <sighs> well, if you like this video, make sure you like this video. What? Who do y'all have leading? Who do y'all have leading? Comment, subscribe, and let us know in, in the comments. Who do y'all think is winning this rat race? You got to die, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm don't let you. him. Oh, me? No, I'm asking you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you still got Drake, that's no, okay. I don't. I ain't no, mad no, no, at no, 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 no. Like, lyrically, I'm focusing on the lyrics of the rap beef. Like, and, like, once you put into the perspective that Drake is really just playing, he not really, like, he trying to get he the last. Playing. It's like, he it's literally playing. like a bully. No, it's literally like a bully. They don't have no real reason why they just want to make fun of you. And Kendrick is like the under, not the underdog, but like he's like that nigga who is quiet but could really fight. Who gonna stand up? You know what I'm saying? Who gonna stand up to the bully? No, and you know when the, it's always the quiet ones that beat their ass. That's what I'm saying. And he said, so, "I love peace and not war. I be chilling." He really don't even want to do all this, but since he's coming at him, he's not gonna let him punk him like a little bitch. And now that I'm thinking about it like that, I think Kendrick got the upper hand only because. The other one was really, really, really funny. That hoe was really, really and good. And that's what I was about to say, too. It's like, just like he said, you make music that pacify. I make music that electrify. And it's like. You had a beat that was a club beat. He did the same thing with Euphoria. You can play that in the club if you wanted to. Yeah. But it's like, he made music that is real, like. Make you We're going to make you laugh. We're going to make you like, oh, Mitchell, shut your whole ass up and make some drums. Like, it's real, like, That's funny. not a bar. That's really playing. just, it's taunting. He's like, literally taunting. And it's like, he loved, like, playing. Like, even on First Person Shooter, Ken, I mean, Cole literally said on your fucking song, on your album, I'm not the three, not the two. I'm you the let you this nigga and say that, and you literally cleared it. And you didn't do, you didn't do nothing about it. You, you didn't say, I'm out. the one. You, you didn't say, say hey, I don't like that one. You just, you didn't say, oh, I'm Michael nigga beat it. You literally, that's basically all you said. I'm one away from Michael. You didn't say, nigga, I'm number one too. Like, fuck right. what Cole talking about. Right. You literally let Cole wash you on your own song. You love fucking playing. Talking about big as the what in the Super Bowl. You love fucking playing. Stop fucking and playing with this nigga. And then you're with a nigga who don't even think you his equal. Stop fucking playing with this nigga. If you gonna do something, Drake, you better, nigga, you better. You better tell me what happened. Head. You better not. You say she be, you be with some bodyguards like Whitney. You better bring something up. Because this is not the motherfucker to play with. This is the, this is not one of them niggas from the past. This is not Meek. This is not Pusha, and I love Push. I got Daytona sitting over there on vinyl. I love Push, but this is not that nigga. This is fucking John Wick. If you want to kill John Wick, you better bring that fucking bazooka nigga to where he don't say shit after that. I'm crying. This is not that nigga. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Aubrey Drake Graham. I know you watching this. You watching it. You want that smoke? Bring the fire, nigga. Cause this ain't it. Somebody lying. I don't see no fire. That nigga from Rosecrans or whatever street that is in Compton is here to play. And have you ever 
is his fucking game. So bring that shit, nigga. <laughs> Don't cry. Anyway, if you like this video, like this video. Comment, let I'll us know. That dog. Who nah, I'm leaving that dog. I'm leaving it. Oh, God. I love it, shit. I love it. I love it. I love that shit. <laughs> Love it. They must have put the real look in this bottle. I love it. So now that bit is lit. All right, but like this video if you like this video. Comment and let us know who you think is winning. And this is not Bell's being extra. I swear to God, I literally look. Oh this no, is not I'm, happy. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to this. Every time they drop, I'm just like, oh my god. You know me. I text you. I'm putting this whole doing dances, nigga. I came in the this other day. This literally. When you this, came every out, single time. Like, this is what he does every single time. The fucking. The fucking songs drop. He literally be like this, and then we start recording. So it's like we love this shit. I love it. It's too in the top of the game. You can't go no higher. You got to prove yourself. You cannot go no higher than Kendrick and Drake. It does not get any. This is like cinema. This is movies. It's so entertaining. This is like nigga. It's one in one. You cannot go any higher than this. If you are not excited. Who else would do this besides these two? Like, even though I'm thinking about it, like, these two are the ones beefing. It's just like, but who else would do it? It's like niggas wouldn't even care. Like, if it's like, no disrespect. But if it was like fucking Dirk and like fucking Young Boy, niggas don't care as much. They probably do it now already. They have been. But it's two. It's number one and number one. You can't get no higher than Drake. You can't get no higher than Kendrick. This is literally a moment in time that will never, ever come up in our lives again for us. The younger groups, they going to have that Kendrick and they Drake. But for us, it does not get any better than, than this. This is from our childhood. This is from like when we was in high school. In we high school, school, it's going to go away at some point. If you are not excited, every fucking one, you don't love this shit for real. <laughs> you do not love this shit. And I fucking love it. Hey, 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 hey. I'm done. We I done. love this shit. I'm sorry. I love it. I, I'm i that emotional about it. No. I fucking love this it. This is amazing. I'm thoroughly entertained. This is insane. But and I need also. Drake to... I need you to step your cookies up. I need you to either spill the fucking tea. Like, you gotta do something outrageous. Maybe in this song, you shouldn't start by saying, Nigga, I said it, I know that you mad. I've emptied a clip over friendly or jabs. You mentioned my seed, now deal with his dad. I gotta go bad, I gotta go bad.